Good, good morning, guys. It is post show. I didn't get any footage last night because all my batteries ran out, but had a great time last night. I had my ribs. Um, I got some sleep. I finally, finally get to wake up a little bit later. I woke up at 5.40. Got to do a little bit of dishes, uh, making some coffee, and uh, I had some ribs and a potato last night, uh, about half a pizuki. So here comes a real test. Yesterday I weighed in at uh, 141.4. 141.4 today. Oh, I know, Bruce. Let's find out how fat I got. Mm, not bad. 146.8. So, I, you know, you also have to take into consideration I ate pretty late. Uh, I drank some water last night to prevent myself from binge eating. You know, last night I was thinking to myself, I'm like, making some coffee. Last night I was thinking to myself, I was like, hmm, I wanna eat, wanna get home, but you know what? I got pretty damn good at controlling post-show. Ate my ribs, had my potato, and uh, got home, took a shower, just relaxed. Ooh, you know, it's nice to treat yourself. Uh, I'm going to treat myself today a little bit. Um, but I want to stick with it. Reverse dieting time. Uh, reverse dieting is a great key, a great tool, because for me what I learned is you don't get that feeling. And what I'm talking about is uh, when you binge eat, you just feel like shit. It hurts, it just, it's shitty all around, it sucks. And reverse dieting, you uh, come off of off season, or the on season, the, the, the on season to off season transition feels amazing, it feels great. Uh, it feels like you're not coming off of a bodybuilding show. And you gradually gain weight and it just feels great. Um, so my goal is oh, excuse me guys uh taper probably turn it back down to 144 slowly build up to 154 uh you know the normal question i keep getting is what's gonna be your off season weight that is just such a hard question to answer considering everything I've been through this year and everything I've learned uh, I'm going to take a wild stab at it 160 my guess now 180 that's a for sure so and while I'm still on the boat with uh, everything I've been doing uh, I'll get started uh, some shit for you guys you guys have been asking me a day of eating with me uh, <clears throat> I'll give it to you. So let's get started. First things first, coffee every morning. I drink coffee every morning. Oh, going back to show. Uh, post show. Uh, some of you guys may be curious as to what uh, place I got. I got third place. I didn't grab it. So, there it is. Okay, uh, third place, Jeff Nippard got first. He got his WMBF card, Joe. I mean, uh, Jeff, uh, congrats. Jeff, you are very symmetrical, very dense, very muscular. I look up to you. I want to be 
extremely symmetrical and thick like you. You did a great job, Jose Francisco. You saved my ass. Sh sh show day. Uh, Jose got second. Uh, <clears throat> man, it was a it was a great show. Great people. Amazing turnout. Just uh, amazing all over. Uh, I'm gonna try to catch up with some of the guys today. Uh, I work. <gasps> so I'll get some footage. It was a uh, third place. I'm satisfied. Uh, damn, it's uh, it's over just like that. Off season. That's uh, it's too fast. So I had a blast. Anyways, a day of eating. Gotta do my coffee. Coffee is a must. Alright, so usually for breakfast I eat cream of wheat because I love this shit. I do four servings. It's about 133. Some of it gets stuck on the pan, but whatever. These are some essentials for my ingredients I do eggs with it uh, fried onion on my eggs with tapatio and my cream of wheat I add caramel skippies uh, the water is boiling I add caramel skippies and uh, my cream of wheat I like to add some uh, ground cinnamon and Vanilla extract to give it a little extra flavor on the cream of wheat. Um, I also have some PB2, Walden Farms, peanut butter, and uh, Thousand Island. A lot of people gave this shit, but you know what? After being on a diet for so long, I could just give a fuck now. Uh, banana extract and caramel extract. So those are some things I uh, add to... My breakfast sometimes, not the Thousand Island, but uh, the other uh, extracts as well. Um, so let's get the breakfast going. I get four servings of cream of wheat. I usually do 12 eggs, 10 eggs, but I'm going to do 15. It's a bulk season, reverse dieting. I'm still keeping track of calories. This breakfast is about, I don't know, I'll calculate it and show you guys. So this is it, breakfast. Uh, I decided to add Southwest salsa to this, two servings, not bad, 10 calories. <clears throat> and uh, Walden Farms, peanut butter, bananas I added on top of my cream of wheat, and that's my breakfast. This is about, I'll get your macros in a sec. There you go. Total fats, 22, total carbs, 136, protein, 70, sodiums, 316, potassium, 1092. Those are the macros for usually my breakfast. You know, sometimes I don't do the cream of wheat. Sometimes I'll do French toast. <clears throat> uh, sometimes I'll just, you know, mix it up. Maybe tomorrow I'll add apples. So that's uh, meal number one, usually. All right, back to the kitchen. I want to do the dishes. Uh, so my second meal is gonna be from yesterday. I already have it cooked. Um, it's 8.76 ounces of chicken and two bags of hash browns. So that's about just added it to my fitness pal. So it's, I like to do big meals. I don't, you know. That'll move me to 26. That'll move me to 26 fats, 266 carbs, 146 protein, 
Uh, roughly about 56 protein on that meal and 130 carbs on that meal. A shitload of sodium. Sodium, potassium, they're pretty well balanced. I like to keep it that way, you know. Sodium, potassium pumps in your system of your body. So that's meal number two. Puts me at about uh, below 2,000 calories. Off season, I'm looking at two, uh, 2,000. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I'll get back to you. I think my macros for off season are going to be like fats, 32. Carbs, 320. Uh, protein, 210. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens.